Kane Horman opens up in an exclusive interview how he feels about the decision to move the Wall of Hope from Skyline Elementary before classes resume in the fall. Thanks for joining us. I'm Brenda Braxton. Russ has the day off. Let's get right to News Channel 8's Pat Doris live at Skyline Elementary. Pat. Well, Brenda, Kane Horman was here collecting some of the items left by well wishers at this wall. Of course, they're all hoping and praying that his son is safely returned. Each day the wall grows, and periodically, Kyron Horman's dad comes to collect teddy bears and other items to take home and put in his missing son's bedroom. Kyron disappeared June 4th after his stepmother said she left him inside Skyline Elementary. Kane told me he never imagined most of the summer would be gone and he'd still have no idea what happened to his son. But time is moving on, and family members have decided sometime in the near future the wall will move to another public location. I think the primary concern is safety. Um, obviously, we're in a situation where a child has gone missing from school, and the last thing we want to do is have a bunch of strange adults um, up on school grounds during the, during the school day. Um, obviously, they're coming to pay their respects to, to Kyron and prayer, you know, pray for him, but uh, at the same time, it puts a lot of additional people on school grounds that, that aren't normally here, so there's a lot of concern for the safety of everybody first. Back live now, Kane Horman told me he's not sure where the wall will be moved to, that it will be a public place, and it's actually still being discussed. He also told me later this week he's going shopping for school supplies for a seven-year-old. He's sure he's going to come home. Brenda? We're all hoping the same thing. Pat, thank you. For complete coverage of the Kyron Horman investigation, go to KGW.com. We have an entire section on this case. And don't forget, if you do have any information, investigators want to hear from you. Call the tip line at the number on your screen, 503-261-2847.